Okay, hi everyone and a very warm welcome to my Thor Cloud Lite release session. Yeah, we are releasing a new product. Um, it's called Thor Cloud, and uh, we, are, we have already published the free service called Thor Cloud Lite. And I would like to give you today a brief overview on what it does, what its features are, and what it is supposed to accomplish. Um, first, I would like to start with, uh, with some PowerPoint slides. Just, just a quick overview to get you started. So what is Thor Cloud? Um, Thor Cloud is a, is a lightweight, customizable and user-friendly solution for real-time compromise assessments and forensic scanning. So what we did is we, we um, put our scanner, which some of you may know, um, uh, digital forensic scanner, we put it into a web interface and allow a user to uh, allow a user to central, uh, centrally manage their scans. Uh, we call them scan campaigns. You can fully customize them, use your own IUCs, your own Yara rules and Sigma rules. Yes, Sigma as well. We are doing that since 2017. Uh, and we have tweaked it a lot. I will explain this in a, in a later video. So this, there's a seamless integration into all your existing solutions. We will provide guides for all of them, starting with Microsoft Defender, ATP, uh, the Live Response, and then um, CrowdStrike, Velociraptor, and so on. Uh, so you don't have to install agents on the endpoint, an important advantage. So there's no hassle. You don't have to install anything on your premises. Everything uh, is available in, the, in, in our cloud. So a good, uh, that's, a, that's an architecture overview. Um, it's simple because it is. Um, and that's what we wanted it to be. Uh, we wanted it to be as simple as possible. You you download the Thor so-called Thor Cloud Launcher. You bring it to an end system, or you let the users themselves uh, download the launcher from from. We have a wizard page that you can share with them, and then they run it. Uh, it downloads the Thor scanner package, runs it, removes everything, and uploads the results. So that's as easy as it can get. We we decided to include some examples um, to show you how flexible it is. So you don't just have to wait for the um, uploaded results. You can also send the logs to your local theme. Um, the Thor scanner can be instructed to do that. To do that, or you forward the logs that you have uploaded. Um, to Thor Cloud to your theme. This will be implemented later this year. Um, as I said, you can run it in your Microsoft Defender ATP um, as a second opinion scanner, uh, an, a scanner that's more focused focused on on forensic artifacts and um, elements on disk in caches, everything in the, that lies in the past or what what our customers usually try do uh, with our SOC toolkit pack so far. So they they react on on events in their security monitoring or in their EDR and use Thor um, as a second opinion or get get a different picture on a certain endpoint. And you could do this with with your EDR and your endpoint solution as well. Uh, another option is to persist uh, the Thor cloud again in the local scheduled tasks. We did this in, during our testing in the last months and it worked out quite well. We did it for the Windows platform with scheduled tasks, for Linux with cron jobs, and on macOS, I'm not sure what we use there. Um, so, and what you what you achieve then is an agentless, continuous scanning uh, every hour, every day. You can scan an end system and retrieve the results, see the differences, filter out false positive in the management interface. It's very cool. Yeah, and uh, as I said before, we are going to release. We already released Thor Cloud Lite. I'm announcing it now. Um, the Lite version is completely free. You can scan up to 30. You can run up to 30 scans per month. Um, use basic IUC management. You can use it in your organization, company, whatever. But you are not allowed to sell it as a service. That's the only limitation. And what we decided to do is um, we um, decided to offer you uh, an improved version of Thor, of Thor Lite in form of Lite Plus that also does Sigma scanning until the end of March. And 
maybe even after that we decide we may decide to to make this the the new light free version we are not yet settled on on the different plans so it could be that that we allow um, the light plus which is currently free as well everyone who registers now gets a light plus account we decided to make it uh, free for the time being and maybe even after that the enterprise version will be available in at the beginning of next year and our existing customers are already waiting for it because they know how good the, the big rule set is because the light version only contains the light open source rule set which is rather limited it also uh, mislacks uh, some some of the modules 20 or so uh, so uh, for people with a budget i always recommend the enterprise version Okay, but now let's jump over to the to the web interface to show you how, what it looks like. So this is the the login screen of Thor Cloud Lite. As I said, you can already register a free account. Just provide your email address, agree to the terms of service, then you would get an email. Uh, has you would have to set a password, and you you could get started right away. Start scanning. I already created some accounts. And when you when you get into the interface, you would come to the campaigns page. And on that campaigns page, you see that I've already created two campaigns. But the first thing that you would do then is uh, to create your first campaign, give it a name, a description, select one of the scan profiles, use quick scan, full scan. Recent activity scan is the perfect solution if you just saw something in your EDR or security monitoring and want only want to check um, the events, the, the elements that have been changed during the last Six, seven days, for example, and we have a, a scan that only includes custom IOCs. And you can define custom IOCs for this specific campaign or um, use the global ones that you define in the IOC management over here. Yeah, but um, let's start with the scan settings. In the scan settings section, you have false positive filters that are applied, not just during the scan, but also in the in the scan interface afterwards. So you can then afterwards filter out false positives uh, from the, the main overview page, which is pretty cool. Um, directory exclusions, if you don't want to scan certain folders because they are prone to false positives. And the public key upload. The public key upload is something really cool because it allows you to provide, provide a public key that Thor would then use on an endpoint to encrypt the reports, they get uploaded into the cloud interface. You can download them and decrypt them locally with your private key. It's basically an end-to-end -end encryption. Um, very secure. If you don't trust uh, our cloud storage, you can you can um, encrypt end-to-end -end the reports and the results of, of each scan. Um, scan profiles is only available in the paid plans in the enterprise version. Um, Built-in signatures. The built-in signatures contains a big list of, of all signatures that we include in the free in the free version. Custom IOCs, uh, file name IOCs, keyword IOCs to be applied, for example, to services, processes, uh, handlers, and so on. Um, hash IOCs, obvious. Uh, C2 IOCs. Uh, oh, here are the handle IOCs. Sorry, yeah, that's the handles. Um, Yara rules and Sigma rules. Super interesting, because we don't only apply the Sigma rules to, to logs, we also apply, for example, Sigma rules that are that are written for process creations, we apply them to the process tree. And Sigma rules that are written for uh, registry events, we apply them to the registry. So we are we are doing much more with the signatures than just the simple the simple application. Um theme forwarding, something that's upcoming, is not yet here. Uh, here's a list of the upcoming features. Um, and the RP documentation. So everything that you see here in the interface is also accessible via API, and you can you can then um, create a campaign, download the launcher, run the launcher, up, uh, retrieve the results, everything via API. It's really cool. Um, yeah, but I did not show you um, what the, what the launcher looks like. Uh, here you can download the launcher. The launcher is available for all ki all major operating systems, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, in different flavors, as a one-liner, as a PowerShell script, um, as a bash script. So you have many different options, very flexible. Uh, I, I told you before that we 
that we want to make it available in, uh, in the Microsoft Defender ATP uh, Life Response script library. And for that, you would use the PowerShell script, for example. But you can also share the launcher page with, uh, with someone, with the end user, uh, the user that is supposed to run the scans, for example, a secretary or an administrator of a system. And then uh, he or she would get to a, to a Thor cloud download page, which instructs them uh, what to do, download it, execute it, and then they would see a progress bar and, and the summary of the scan, which is very limited, just, just to make them feel well. And then in the end, you would get the results uh, in this interface. The interface is also highly flexible. You can filter, you can download the results as a CSV file, um, uh, review the results, review the launcher logs. The Thor HTML reports are still pretty ugly. Um, we are working on them. We have a new version, uh, but they are useful. They, they can already be used for, um, to review the results of each of the scans. But we are we are working on them. So there is um, still work to do. Uh, but you can already use it. You can um, run scans with your own IOCs, your own Yara rules, uh, or with our open source rule set, which is quality tested. So that's it. Uh, I plan to do more videos on on features, on on specific uh, ways to run the launcher. Um, also one on Microsoft Microsoft Defender ATP. So stay tuned, uh, subscribe to the channel. I will post new videos when, whenever I, I was able to capture and cut them. So I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know. We have a private Discord server on which we, um, it's a, like a Nexton community server uh, where, you, where you could get invites. Please let me know. I will share the invite link somewhere uh, in the next days also on my Twitter account and on LinkedIn. So stay tuned, have fun, bye.